Hey YouTube, this is Sensation reporting in for a kind of um, well, just a run through it really. I've got four DCC locomotives, diesels, on the track. Uh, you can see uh, 611 sitting over here, kind of been not used as much. Uh, I'm working on it right now. I'm getting her uh, get trying to get this tender issue fixed up. Uh, it keeps uh crackling and I can go so yeah another look most of that so I'm choosing to run these instead of the others so yeah so anyway uh enough chit chat I know you want just want to see these locomotives go so let's watch them go first up Athens Genesis New Pacific ES44 AC number 5252 That was that one. Uh, next up is uh, another as an as an Athern, Athern uh, RTR with DCC. Um, I don't remember what the model is, but it's NS Heritage Unit Southern number eighty ninety nine. Supposedly it's an ES44 AC. No, it's an ES. The model is supposed to be an ES44 AC, but uh, I guess Athens screwed up on something because it's not an ES44 AC. Just watching it getting back to the old the, the uh, back end of fifty two fifty two. Okay. That's off. Next up we got um Next up is NS Heritage Unit Norfolk and Western 8103, again another one by Athern RTR with DCC on it. Getting up to the other one. I think I might have just clipped on. Let's find out. Alright, I didn't. Alright, All right. All right. the next one we have is. My Broadway Limited GE AC6000, which is a GE Green Machine demo unit with DCC and sound and all that.
And there you go. There they all are. Yes, I'm not drinking beer. It's root beer. So, yeah. There you go. There they all are. All lined up. Uh, we'll go through the cars, actually, uh, uh, right now. Um, I'm not going to bring them back. That's just going to cause all hell. The three soda hoppers, those are made by MTH. The Sioux Line hopper car, or covered, covered hopper, that's Atlas. The N&W box car, that one is exact, exact rail. Uh, those two I do not know. Uh, the two uh, Union Pacific automated railway, those are Atlas as well. And then the articulated auto carrier, those, that's an Atlas as well. And uh, all the track that I have is actually all Atlas. So, um, there's a box. Yeah, well, here it is over here. Proof that I use Atlas track. Unused box, 38 or 36 section flex track. Yeah, I'm going to be replacing this corner right back here, making it uh, less kind of. So it kind of goes like this. So, it goes like, like that, so, if you're looking at it from the top. Anyway, there's the freight yard, uh, I've gotten those out of the box, those nine cars out of the box. You can tell, it is, uh, not a yard, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's not a yard at all. Um, so, yeah. If y'all have any questions, if y'all want me to run something around, if y'all want me to like run something, just pass the camera. Uh, I've got a big boy in Challenger, a 4449, 611, currently working on her. Uh, I've got a little Ford, uh, I mean a 260, and I've got Alco. I've got two Alcos, which I'm going to sell at one point because I don't, I don't use them and I don't really need them. I just bought them because they were $20. And i got two BL2s. Uh, I have a GG1, and I've got two of those 951 uh, Amtrak diesels, which I absolutely hate. They don't work at all, so if you want some broken units to fix, uh, contact me, I guess. Anyway, this has been Sensation. Sensation, signing out. See you later. All aboard.